Hi, uh, in this video we are going to understand uh, my blog which is three values that you should know when tuning the SQL statement. So uh, whenever we actually get the issue of tuning an SQL statement in Oracle database environment, we often refer to the three most important values. So the values which I meant in this blog are nothing but your uh, columns you can call few guys will call them as columns, a few people will call them as factors, parameters, etc. But what are those three things that I basically concentrate in this blog are your SQL ID, your hash value of the SQL and plan underscore hash underscore value. These are the three things that I am going to discuss in detail in this blog. Uh, whatever content you see in the blog, the same thing we are going to cover uh, but with an interactive you know, approach in this video. So I'll be picking up as an example in the blog, I'll be demonstrating them on top of uh, the real-time database and to understand how the execution has been performed to prove uh, the SQL ID generation, hash value generation and also your plan underscore hash value what it is. So these are the things that we are going to cover in this blog now. So let me connect to one of the databases that I have got and then I'll start the explaining the blog from there. So as you see on the screen, I have two sessions open for the same database, uh, one with a CC user. If you just type show user on one environment, you will see sys and the other environment on the same database server, but the different console as system user. So on the sys user, uh, now, uh, first of all, let us try to understand how Oracle database generates uh, the SQL ID for any a given SQL text. Uh, please remember that, you know, the Oracle database purely considers your, uh, the, the way that you write the SQL statement or the SQL text. Even the case, even the characters that you write are case sensitive. That means if you just change your complete SQL query and if you uh, add a new white space or if you change the lowercase to uppercase, your complete SQL ID will change. Each and every character that you pass into as an SQL text to the Oracle database will make some difference in generating the SQL ID. Now let us understand, uh, uh, the first step point is what is an SQL ID? Uh, SQL ID is a unique alphanumeric 13 characters, you know, value, which is always unique and it is generated for every unique SQL statement that you run inside the Oracle database. This is a very simple definition of SQL ID. So let us now see uh, in the form of a function how Oracle database actually generates an SQL ID for an SQL statement. We are also going to write our own function or see the own function that I have written or we have you know on the screen now will be coming up on the screen that will perform the same exact operation as Oracle does internally to generate the SQL ID. So let me actually paste that function here and then I'll explain how this function has been uh, you know defined. Uh, based on how Oracle database will generate the SQL ID. So as you see on the screen, I have my function that is created, but this function is actually, you know, divided into multiple phases, uh, but I will be, you know, um, categorizing them or dividing them into parts. Uh, the first thing that this function does is, for your SQL statement that you are going to pass to this function, it is going to generate a raw 128 bit, you know, uh, raw value using MD5 algorithm. So that's what your Oracle database first going to generate. Uh, that is by using DBMS underscore crypto package, which is already available in the instance. And this 128 bit characters is converted into raw characters or uh, raw values is converted into a 32 bit hexadecimal characters. So this hexadecimal characters is again out of the output. We are going to only pick up the last 16 characters of this 32 characters output. Once we pick up this last 16 characters, we divide them into two parts, first eight and the next eight out of the 16. So what it does is, it will consider the first eight parts or first eight hexadecimal characters. And what does it do is, it will divide them into four pairs. So each and every pair is made of two bits or two characters. First, those two characters are actually shuffled. So that means, you know, the first two, uh, the last two comes here the next two comes here and the next two comes here that means out of the four pairs the fourth pair will come first that means it will be reversing it third pair will come next that will be concatenated second pair will come next and the last one is 
you know uh, the first pair will come the last the same thing it will also uh, perform on the next eight characters that it fetches so they are reversed in the form of pairs and after they are reversed in the form of pairs these two are again concatenated to one particular variable and this variable we are going to convert into a numeric and that to this numeric is again you know approximately 16 bit characters or 16 bit numeric output that you will be getting out of this select statement so whatever you see this variable called convert underscore number that is convert number variable this will be of 16 bit numeric you know value and this 16 bit numeric value we are going to now perform the you know base 32 you know algorithm action so we are going to convert that into a 13 bit uh, alpha numeric character and we are going to generate each and every special character that is sorry alpha numeric character with the help of base 32 characters that we have got in the beginning using this base 32 character list we are going to perform this action and this will follow a for loop for 13 uh, you know uh, times and it will generate the SQL ID as an output now to verify the functionality whether this function whatever algorithm that we have you know identified works properly or not what I'll do is with the system user I'll run an SQL statement and I'll see what is the SQL ID generated by the Oracle database so as you see on the screen I have a very small query this is a small query I have ran on uh, Scott dot department so let us see what is the SQL ID generated by the Oracle database for this query from this session so as you see this is with the one and this is the one that system is generated that we have captured from V dollar session now let us run the same function that we have on the screen to generate the SQL ID using this function by giving the complete SQL text that we have used here and see what will be the output of the function so as you see yes now if you compare these two things the values are same so from the function that we have created the value of SQL ID that got generated is the same as the Oracle database has given the value of SQL ID so this is how I thought to prove that the function that we have created and the understanding that we have got how the Oracle database converts an SQL text value into the Oracle SQL ID value is what the clearly demonstrated with the help of this function now the next thing that we often come through is hash value people will often get confused with the hash value that they find in v$sql and also plan underscore hash underscore value so this this example whatever i am going to you know go through next should also help you to get a very clear picture and the difference between hash value and plan underscore hash underscore value the first thing is hash value the hash value is nothing but it's a numeric representation of the SQL text whether the SQL text is undergoing a hard parsing soft parsing it least bothers for every SQL query that is you know that before it tries to run inside the database every SQL ID will be generated or will be uh, coming up with a hash value by the Oracle database and this hash value is the one that will be compared within the library cache to identify if the query is already existing in the library cache or not and that is where the hash value is most oftenly used in the oracle database please remember hash value of every query that is running inside the database whether it is undergoing a hard parse or soft parse is generated by the oracle database and that value is compared in the library cache to identify if the query is already existing or not so now you can say that SQL ID and hash value are almost one and the same but this is like an alphanumeric character it's only a very good uh, I should not say it's a good picture but still it includes an alphanumeric representation of an SQL text but hash value is only a numeric representation of the SQL text and if you already have an SQL ID in hand we can generate the hash value of the same SQL ID with our own SQL statement so we also know the formula that is that Oracle database uses to generate a hash value with the help of the SQL ID we can run that and see now but before that let us see what is the hash value of this particular SQL ID generated by the database then we will see the next so as you see on the screen the hash value generated by the database for this SQL statement when we query from v$sql is this value so now let us write our own SQL statement which will actually help us to understand or which will help us to prove 
whether our understanding in you know uh, un understanding in generating the hash value is correct or not using the sql id let us do that now so this is the sql id which performs a reverse mathematics operation when it compared uh, when we compare with the function that we have created so after taking in the input that is this sql id for this particular sql you will see the hash value that is generated from this sql you know statement is this so compare this hash value with this hash value it is the same so to make it very clear and simple the hash value is a numeric representation of an sql text and sql id is an alpha numeric representation of an sql text inside the oracle database now the last one is plan underscore hash underscore value plan hash value is the one that is generated by the optimizer for every new execution plan of a query that it executes in the database so plan underscore hash underscore value will uh, try to you know uh, tell you what optimizer defined the execution plan in order to execute an sql statement inside the database to identify the plan hash value of the oracle uh, given by the optimizer of a query you can get it from v dollar sql underscore plan dynamic performance view let me show you the query so as i say it's a dynamic performance view uh, you have to also you know remember one thing that this value or this query will give you the correct result only when the query is still a part of your library cache else you will not see this value at all now this is the plan hash value that means this is the value of the execution plan defined by your oracle optimizer uh, this plan hash value will be used for your soft parsing principles and also sometimes the same plan hash value can also be part of your hard parsing and there are multiple scenarios that we can understand using plan underscore hash underscore value the same thing i'll be covering uh, you know in detail in my next blog and in the future blogs because the scenarios are there are many scenarios that will uh, you know give you some excitement when you understand it better so we will cover them in detail later thank you